welcomerism. Have you ever picked up and tried to combine various herbs and other ingredients only to get less than desirable results? Or have you gotten great results and can't remember what combination you used? If your answer is yes to either of those questions, this is the video for you. Dragon's Dogma has so many natural ingredients and herbs that is any alchemist's wet dream. But if you're not a modern day equivalent of an alchemist, it can be a bit hard to know which one goes with which and what base ingredients you might need on a regular basis. Luckily for you though, I made a list of all the ingredients that you might need and a list of some rather potent potions. Just make sure to use the Mimbao, and if the effect lasts more than 4 hours, contact your local healer. First up, we have Liquid Vim, a rare and invigorating potion that gives a huge boost to stamina and completely negates stamina consumption for 45 seconds, which allows for unlimited sprinting, climbing, spell casting, use of skills, and other activities for the duration of said 45 seconds. To make this stamina booster, simply combine pickled mushrooms, which can get by combining a glow cap, which can be picked near the shadow fort, with some curious wine, which you can get from goblins, with either ambrosial meat or giant fish. This leads me to the next item, which is a rather unholy combination of unspeakable meat and frozen holy water. A combination that was probably thought up by some crazy necromancer that was having a hard time with his own meat. If you combine the two, you will get ambrosial meat, which with time can be transformed into sour ambrosial meat, which is a somewhat hard to get quest item that is used both for the tavern collecting quest and Valmero's second quest, Farewell Valmero. Third, we have the Grancis equivalent of Jägermeister, every 20-something year old Swedish person's go-to party drink and every 30-something years old nightmare. To create this wonderful beverage, we first need cloud wine, which can either be bought from Raynor or made by combining any nuts of your choice and some Hasberg milk. Once you have made your nut liquid, combine it with either some Grancis herbs or green varish to get some desiccated herbs, the famous Grancis Jägermeister that restores 300 health. Last, we have every rogue and thief's holy grail of combinations, which is incredibly cheap considering its usefulness. Combine a shackle, which can be bought from Reynard, and scrap iron for a skeleton key, which will be very useful for Bitter Black Isle and for the Duke's dungeon, if you happen to be into dungeon play and such. Come to think of it, why does Reynard sell shackles? And why is Feste always lying down in the dungeon? 